Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Thursday and I thought I would do a quick video on the Alexander McQueen <laughs> skull scarves and like I told you last week or the week before I bought one off of eBay thinking it was an authentic scarf that it just had a little um, imperfection in it and I think I paid $30 for it and then I ended up biting the bullet and buying one off of Zappos Couture and I got that Monday and then I've also bought another one at Hot Topic that is just it's not a knockoff it's more of inspired so I thought I would just show you all three and that way you would know the difference and you could make up your own okay, mind. Okay so the so first right one back. I want to show you is the authentic Alexander McQueen I keep wanting to say Alexander Wang but the McQueen scarf and I bought this like I said at Zappos and it was I think $2.95 and um, also I realize this is not everybody's taste this is something that had to grow on me and like I said because I think it's because skulls are so popular now and um, my kids their mascot is pirates and so I see a lot of this stuff anyway um, but and I just think it's neat it's interesting so this is the one I got which is the Let's see what it says. F.O. Skull Chiffon. And um, Alexander McQueen. Anyway, it's got this on it. And it's got this tag here. And um, I guess it's made so you can take this tag off very easily. And um, anyway, that's just what it came with. I don't know if it came with any... Um, let me go see if I can find my Zappos paper. I also forgot to put in my earrings. <laughs> just realized that. Okay, let's see here. Oh, God, this isn't, this is not Rachel K stuff. I think this was your Zappos. Alexander McQueen Skull Silk Chiffon Scarf Black Ivory. And um, it doesn't give the price or anything. I will. I think it was like two. I'll put it down here. Okay, so this is it. <laughs> and it, you can see it's real sheer. Um, it's a chiffon. Here comes Bubba. He's got to... What do you think? Probably can't wait to tear this up. And um, get down here for a minute. And then this is the white one that I got, which is much, this is a much softer, um, it's much of a silkier sheer scarf. And when I compare like the edges, see how the edges of this one are like that? See how the edges of this one are not the same way? They're sewn a little bit different. Um, they are not the same size. This one is a little bit bigger. Um, let's compare the size of the, and you can see that the actual, are they, I don't know if these are different or not. I'll let you look at that. Um, and let's see, this did come with a tag and me, I cut it off. I didn't even think I was gonna really never thought I would really get one of these so I didn't even think about comparing it okay here's the print on this one Alexander McQueen and this is the authentic one and then this is the print on the other one which I told you I bought it as a second which is really kind of a smooth thing for them to do because it kind of tricks you into thinking it's probably an authentic one just like this so I don't know I would think that a big company like this would not even sell irregulars. I would think that they would not do that. But so here they are. Honestly, only someone, sorry you guys, only someone with just a keen, I had one person say they could tell as soon as I held it up that it was not a real one. So the only way I could really tell is they feel different. This one's bigger and it has just a different, um, it's actually not as soft and silky as this one is. Um, so that's what I would tell you, but the difference is like, you know, $300 and $30. So I don't know if you could tell the difference. I will wear both of them. It doesn't bother me that bad. Okay, then this is the one that I got at Hot Topic. And you know, I don't know if I really consider this a knockoff as much as I do the white one because it's obviously not. Anybody that knows would know this is not an Alexander McQueen scarf. It doesn't have anything on there, and it's a totally different shape. Those are square, and see how this one is the long one. 
honestly this one is the one that's easier to wear um, and it is polyester metallic made in China um, so if you want just something fun I would go to Hot Topic and or anywhere I know on Amazon on eBay everywhere you can get a skull scarf it's not that big of a deal I just wanted one just to know it's just to kind of get it out of my system um, and maybe I'll try to wear it tomorrow today I've already got so much going on I don't think it's appropriate or I don't think I'd care for it but um, this one is really silky and soft and pretty. I mean, both of them are. I think I'll enjoy all of them. So, hope that helped a little so bit. I'm going to do a real um, quick outfit of the day and then let you go. Okay, right so back. today I am wearing um, the little soft joie top with the cold shoulder that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago. This is the Rachel, no, Susanna Monaco. This is the Susanna Monaco skirt and it's in small the gray one i have is in medium and um i went back and got this one in the small and then the shoes i have on are funky shoes i got these in dillard's and myrtle beach and they are chinese laundry and they're just something kind of different i like them they're they seem to be comfortable so far and um you can see um chanel is checking out my chair so this is for accessories today. today i just put on my um just slain white topaz earrings. I have enjoyed these so much. And that's it. But I wanted to tell you about all the other stuff that I'm wearing because First I love First and foremost, it. this nail polish. It's the one that Rhonda sent me from Sephora and it is the Pantone Universe for Sephora and it's called Cradle Pink uh, Jewel Lacquer. And I just put this right on over, Gosh, it's not going to catch it. I put this on over just a clear, and I really chopped my nails last night. I like them to be short. And um, I wish you could see, but it puts the most beautiful iridescence on them. It makes them so shiny and pretty and clean looking. I just love that. And then this is another one of my favorites. I um, went for a lighter lip today because I've been doing a brighter lip so much. And this is the lippy butter london and it is trout pout i believe yes trout pout i love this it is thick and opaque but it lasts on your lips and i think it is the prettiest color i have it on with the dior sparkling beige lip liner and i just love it and then the eyeshadow i have on today is another one of the wet and wild and it is the silent treatment now i bought this before and used it and i liked it okay and i ended up giving it away and i went and bought it again just to try it and what I did is I just didn't use um, right here I used my MAC sunny the sunny one I always always sunny and I used did I use yeah I, I don't think I used the brow bone color I used my um, Lancome drape on the inner corner but I tried just to not make it as much of a shimmer fest I didn't put as much shimmer like for you know my brow bone and stuff like that i think if i would have done it just like they tell you to i did it basically like they tell you to but it might have just gotten out of control like my other one did <laughs> okay and this shirt is the um odell and the color is golden i can't believe that but that's this is the thing that came off of this um the style number is s049-21995 in the joie soft and the skirt is the straight skirt, black, small, and it was 81, Susanna Monaco. And is that it? I think so. Um, oh, these are the lashes that I have on today. These are another set of my favorites. They're the self-adhesive 101S, which the S is just for self-adhesive. But you can see that they're just, instead of coming so far out at the ends, they're just pretty much the same all the way around. And um, I love those. And then another thing I wanted to mention real quick, and I feel like somebody is tearing up something. Um, for those of you that have ordered Rachel K, I have John spent probably two to three hours last night printing off the invoices and um, doing the shipping labels and stuff like that. So tonight we'll start packing up the boxes and I'll send it out tomorrow. Um, but if I've had so many email messages, Facebook messages, I mean, I get messages from Facebook, from my videos, from YouTube, from my regular email, from my blog, and some of you, you know, get irritated at me because I can't answer you back, but honestly, I do the best that I can. 
I'm just one person. I mean, I'm not really a company like you would typically order from. I don't have anybody helping me. All I can do is all I can do. So um, if, I mean, I hate, I don't want you to get frustrated with me, but I'm not ignoring you on purpose. And I get so many messages saying, you know, I'm NC35, what color do you think I need? And that's why I try to address that in these videos that really I think neutral can go for anybody. And I think fair is gonna have more pink undertones and then the sun-kissed has more of a darker but a little bit grayer cast. But all of them I suggest adjusting with your mineral powder or whatever you use over it. Today I used the Dior Air Flash and it's so pretty, it's such a pretty makeup. And um, then you know I go ahead with bronzer and blush and everything else. So I really just don't have the time even though I would love to get back with every single person. I try to, but please don't get frustrated with me. And then I have a lot of people messaging me, you know, that you ordered it. Um, when do you think you'll get it? And most people are out of the country. Now I only charge $9.95, I think, shipping for to everywhere. Germany, Australia, Poland. Um, we ship to Israel now, everywhere. And that is a lot less expensive than most places. And the reason is um, I'm not sending it priority. I'm just sending it regular mail. And sometimes it goes over that. Sometimes it's right about that amount. And because of that, I cannot track it. If you want me to be able to track it, then it's gonna cost probably about $25 to send it with a tracking number priority. And because of that, I can't tell you exactly when it's gonna get there. All I can tell you is most orders take about two weeks at the most but some take two to four weeks. So, you know, try to give it about two weeks before you start, you know, worrying and I really anything. want you to be able to try it, this. And I also understand that not everybody is gonna like this. That's the way it is. Nobody's gonna like all the same thing. I understand that. And, um, but it's really not that much money. I think it's 30, with shipping, ends up being $37 to try it. And I do think it's worth that. And I really think that you can make it work. If you don't like it the first time, you know, like Gina, I remember, didn't like it the first time and then she ended up loving it. Um, my cats are just going nuts over here. I bought a little stool. Here I'll show it I to bought you. this stool yesterday. See, it's got like little legs. It was only $40 at Marshall's and I bought this to go beside my bed thinking Bridget could jump up on it and then jump up on the bed because right now we have to get her on and off. Of course, she jumps off but we try not to let her. But the thing that happened is every time she jumped off of this to go on the bed it fell over it's not stable enough so i'm gonna take it back today but the cats have decided they would like to jump all over it somebody else it asked quick. me a question um the other day how what did i do about cat hair you know having so many cats in the house and i will tell you just like the girl that used to cut my hair years ago had like five or six cats inside and i asked her the same question because she wore black every day i said what do you do about all the cat hair and she said i wear it <laughs> and that's pretty much what i do i take try to have a lint brush with me and try to vacuum a lot and um it's with these hardwood floors i mean there's like big dust bunnies no matter how much you vacuum but um so i hope that helps some and um i will see you guys tomorrow Bye bye